Former police chief in Stowe now facing alarming allegations. He is accused of soliciting a minor on the internet in an effort to meet in person, and there is video of the alleged interaction between the former chief and his accuser. Seven's Kimberly Bookman is following this story. She joins us uh, live in Stowe, and pretty dramatic uh, details there, Kimberly. That's right, Kim. You know, the video is very clear, making people, places, and cars easy to identify. Bro, huh? Where are you here to meet? Wearing sunglasses and casual clothes, this man appears surprised when someone with a cell phone camera confronts him. I'm an activist. What I do is I go online and I pretend to be an underage boy. And I catch people preying on young boys. The man, who was allegedly there to meet a 14-year-old boy for a sexual encounter, takes off. But the activist keeps recording and gets the guy's license plate number. One time for the camera! This video was then uploaded to a YouTube site to expose the accused suspect. What the activist didn't know was the man he caught on camera, investigators identify as Stowe Police Chief Ralph Marino. The next morning, I woke up and there was a knock at my door. Um, it was two state police detectives. The activist talked to Seven News wearing a mask with the words, I got the chat logs written on it. He says he has all the sexually explicit online conversations with the chief and handed them over to investigators. When I just found out he was a chief of police, I, I was literally just disturbed, sick. Now charged with enticing a child underage, court paperwork shows the chief began communicating with who he thought was a 14-year-old boy mid-April. The same week, Marino appeared in a uniform on TV to discuss the discovery of a missing girl in Stowe. State One police investigators the say they Nine ran the SUV plates and found it was registered to the Stowe Police Department. They then interviewed Marino, who they say admitted he was the man in the video and was there to meet a boy. The nature of the allegations is deeply disturbing. Marino resigned, and the Board of Selectmen unanimously voted to accept his resignation yes, Wednesday night. If I wasn't out here doing this, that man would still be a chief of police. And we reached out to Marino and his attorney, but have not heard back. Investigators say that Marino has deleted all of his texts and chat logs from his phone. Reporting live from Stowe, Kimberly Bookman, 7 News. Yeah, total fake fucking story bullshit. They'd never let that motherfucker out like that. You kidding me? You never even hear about that fucking story. What a bunch of bullshit. Fucking man.